your daily 180, 180 seconds of pure Bible study. Thank you for being with us today for this, your daily 180 Bible study. We're wrapping up our study of James chapter 3, verse 13 and following, talking about selfishness and envy. And we've learned that envy is earthly, sensual, and demonic. There's nothing good about it. And it will keep us out of heaven. It is destructive in this life and destructive in the life to come. But is there some way to deal with envy? Is there a cure? Absolutely, there is a cure. I want you to join me in Romans chapter 13. Look at verse 13 and 14 and notice what Paul says here. Let us walk properly as in the day, not in revelry and drunkenness, not in lewdness and lust, not in strife and envy, but put on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the flesh to fulfill its lust. Did you notice there? You need to put on Christ Jesus and you need to leave that life behind. Now, will you struggle with it? Will you have ups and downs? Absolutely. But you need to make, in your, make sure in your mind, you know what? I've put that aside. I'm making no provision. I'm not going to try to figure out how I can live a little bit for Christ and a little bit for myself, a little bit consistent with the Lord's way and a little bit consistent with the world's way. No, no, no. You make no provision for the flesh. You chart the course of living consistent with the will of God. Well, how do you put on Christ? Let me just give you this verse real quickly. Galatians chapter 3, verse number 27 is, is very clear. It says, For as many of you as were baptized into Christ have put on Christ. It's also interesting if you look at Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 3, it says, All spiritual blessings are in Christ Jesus. How, how do we get into Christ? It's when an individual who is a believer, who has studied God's Word, comes to a realization as they study the evidence that Christ is the Son of the living God. They're willing to repent of their sins, confess the sweet name of Jesus, and be baptized for the forgiveness of sin. And then that individual needs to continue to study and grow. Listen to 1 Corinthians, beginning at uh, chapter 3, verse 1. And I, brethren, could not speak to you as to spiritual people, but as to carnal, as to babes in Christ. I fed you with milk and not with solid food, for until now you were not able to receive it, and even now you are still not able, for you are still carnal. For where there are envy, strife, and divisions among you, are you not carnal and behaving like mere men? Do you get what he's saying? When you don't grow up in Christ, one of the characteristics is envy. You need to put on Christ but you also need to grow up in Christ. Thank you for being with us for this, your daily 180.